the first thing was to actually uh, take it on board properly. So, uh, you know, they gave me the prognosis and then, like I said, I, you know, followed the course of medication, came off, gave myself about a year, got back into the same habits that caused the, the initial psychosis and did it again. So, you know, it took those two times to actually, for me to take on board properly that, okay, this is more than just a, um, than something I can just, you know, pass off as just happened, but it's nothing really. So I guess, yeah, firstly accepting it and then working with, uh, with the guys in, in terms of like um, finding, finding the triggers for me um, and then, yeah, just, just staying with it. It's just normal kind of healthy lifestyle or trying to maintain one, which is actually quite difficult as a musician or an artist because you're often uh, around lots of uh, substances <laughs> and, uh, you know, gigs are late uh, and you, it's not the healthiest kind of uh, environment. So, so learning to be a bit more um, self-aware, I guess, and a bit more mindful of, um, of the environment and that I work in and stuff, so yeah. You can change the outcome. You can uh, rewrite the script. You don't have to be um, the classic psych patient or, you know, uh, yeah. Um, it is doable. You can, it is survivable and life gets better and you can make it work, yeah. I think it's, um, it's great that there's that sort of support available and specifically to, to people in the music industry. Um, yeah, often, I mean, it's hard. It's a hard place to um, to graft a living, and you know, small things uh, can easily tip you over the edge, whether it's you know uh, mentally or, or uh, financially. So, um, having that direct support that and people who understand the industry you're in, it's yeah, it's great.